It is a beautiful afternoon. I'm Rosie Walden, and today we are on the coveted Cadogan Square, nestled in the heart of Knightsbridge. The red brick buildings around me and behind me date back to the 1800s, and we're just as well positioned today around the corner from Pavilion Road with its delightful array of boutiques, gym, cafes, and restaurants, and we're a stone's throw away from Sloan Square. Of course, anyone who loves Knightsbridge appreciates its proximity to Harrods, Hyde Park, and the hustle and bustle of Mayfair. But before we head inside, I just wanted to take a minute to show you this magical communal garden square. I mean, what could be more of a luxury than having access to not only this much outside space in the middle of central London, but also your own private tennis court? Some quick fire stats before we head inside. The property we're about to view together comprises a principal bedroom suite and four further bedroom suites. In total, it measures just over 4,400 square feet and it's arranged over the raised and lower ground floors of a period red brick building. The property is currently listed for sale with DDRE Global asking 15.75 million pounds. Welcome. So, as we enter through this private street entrance, we are immediately greeted by this completely unique marble curtain, which kind of moves us forward in this wave-like motion, as well as these very rare marble architraves, which frame the space, creating this really grand and impressive or imposing entrance hall. But if you're not impressed yet, then prepare to be mesmerized as we move into what is the piece de resistance, in my opinion, which is this lavish and sophisticated reception room. With ceiling heights over four meters, this is a vast space, perfect for hosting guests and entertaining. Behind me, we have the west-facing bay windows, creating a stunning and bright panorama outside to the green garden square. And inside, we have this harmonious blend of textures and colors, creating a complete sense of refinement and sophistication. Every detail from the custom designed furniture to this regal marble fireplace, the mirror surround and the fantastic ceiling detail has been thoughtfully curated by the internationally renowned architect and interior designer, Victor Udzenya. The open plan reception room leads seamlessly onto this elegant dining room. And in here, you'll notice another perhaps bold design choice, which I personally feel pays off. And that is this intricate and delicately cut metalwork piece behind me. Here we enter the separate custom built Seamatic kitchen, which is perfect for an enthusiastic or a professional chef and is of course fully equipped with all of the top of the range Gaganau appliances and top tier finishes. You also have a little bit more of an intimate entertaining space with a cozy breakfast table. And one of the features that I love about this apartment in general are the fantastic and pretty extraordinary light fixtures. This one is pretty marvelous, but there's one more that is completely unique on the rest of our tour. See if you can spot it. As we move from the more public to the more private spaces within the apartment, firstly, we have this very glamorous guest loo or WC, and then we have this kind of informal, formal, relaxing lounge area, which is perfect for chilling out, sitting back, watching TV, unwinding with a cup of tea or a really good book. First and foremost, the principal bedroom suite. And my goodness, what a principal it is. It is simply breathtaking. The eye is caught by this extravagant light fitting, but also by this beautiful copper ceiling, which reflects the light incredibly. And I can only imagine it's beautiful at sunset with the light coming through the west facing bay windows. 
Again, you have this green view over the garden square. It really is an oasis and a sanctuary of calm and tranquility. And as you can probably tell by now, this is a renovation where no expense has been spared. Every detail has been painstakingly thought through to create a true blend of modern luxury and traditional elegance and grandeur. Of course, no principal bedroom suite would be complete without a walk-in or walk-through wardrobe. And this bathroom, which has an exquisite walk-in shower with a rainfall shower head, floor-to-ceiling marble, and these delicate copper curtains. As we walk to the rear of the property, we have two of the guest bedroom suites, each with their own unique character and generous proportions. Across the whole property, you have integrated lighting, sound and security systems, as well as air conditioning and sheer and blackout blinds, so you're sure to get a good night's sleep. Personally, I love this bedroom. I think it's really bright and relaxing. And the bedroom next door, if you don't need all five bedrooms, could convert to the perfect office space. Downstairs on the lower ground floor, you have the final two bedrooms and what is essentially a self-contained mini apartment within an apartment. You'll notice there's a slight shift in style with slightly warmer, more organic tones and textures. This would make the perfect space for teenage kids, guests or staff. And there's even a contemporary private patio. All five bedrooms have built-in wardrobes, so there really is ample storage space throughout the property. And in this apartment, they have been really clever with space. For example, in this bedroom, you have pocket doors, if I can open it, which separate the ensuite bathroom from the bedroom. But this bedroom is also special because it has direct access onto the little patio, which is perfect for enjoying those hot summer days. Now, finally, I'm going to show you the fifth bedroom and also a clever little surprise, which is a small kitchenette that you have in this space downstairs. So this whole floor can really be its own self-contained apartment. It even has its own separate entrance. So that concludes our tour of this spectacular £17 million Knightsbridge apartment. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and as this is my very first YouTube video, it would mean the world to me if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. I promise lots more exciting tours coming very, very soon. Bye for now!